this folks is what I have yeah. instead of a refrigerator. Look through that stack of mail out there, sweetie. Look through that stack of mail and see if you find anything interesting. Who's that to? Me and my sister. Oh my goodness. What do you think those are, honey? Remember when you did the through a kid's eye video that you did all by yourself? And that mommy didn't even edit it? That's who that is. That looks fun, I think we got the boneyard taken care of just in time not too anxious about how things are going to get snowed on now. Most everything's covered and uh, I can sit that way until the spring. All right, I'm off to work for a neighbor today. Um, we got some work on our house in trade and it's time to pay back. So i um, off to do a couple little, little carpenter things on their house. Well, Nick is off to work today at a friend's house, so I'm going to spend the day cleaning up and trying to get a little more moved in and also fixing up our food storage. So that's a really good opportunity for me to answer some questions that you all have had and try to show you around a little bit. So this is a box of empty jars. It has expanded onto the floor. It has expanded onto the windowsill. This is how many jars I've gone through since I moved into the little house. So in less than two weeks, this is how many jars I've emptied. The two quart ones, the eight cup ones, I use a lot for, a lot for dry goods. The quart sized ones are black beans and pickles and fruit and chili and soups. And then the littler ones, the pints, um, are green beans or corn, and then these don't come through as often, but the little ones are jams and jellies. So that is what it looks like when you eat primarily from your cellar. There's my refrigerator. That little cooler is all I have, and all I've had for years. Over here, we're going to look forward to putting some stairs in this hillside. And this is what the cellar door looks like. This is what I have instead of a refrigerator. This is my shelf stable off-grid pantry and we have eaten almost entirely from this for the last month and a half. Uh, it's been very busy. Nick was out of town for a while. We've been moving. There isn't time for cooking. There isn't certainly time for stressful cooking. And yet somehow we managed to have a nice meal on the table every night. And by nice, I do mean simple, but nice as in healthy and healthful and stable and secure feeling. We're able to get that food on the table every single night. And that is because of this uh, cellar pantry. Let me show you around. We do keep things in five gallon buckets, cornmeal, rice, our two kinds of flour and sugar are all in five gallon buckets. Then those get measured out into half gallon jars. You can see I have rows and rows of half gallon jars, all purpose flour, wheat flour. And I just write, write on the jar in permanent marker because permanent marker is not really permanent on glass but it's permanent enough. And the boxes are some dried goods, which didn't fit into the buckets, and also lots and lots of storage apples and potatoes. Coming up here to our applesauce, corn, jam, salsa, more apple cider vinegar, pears, and then this shelf right here is my meal shelf. And it kind of rotates out what's there. 
It's a little thin right now because we've been eating so much out of here. All I have is chili and black beans. We had goat meat, but we just went through our last of those this last week. So chili's the only thing in our fast food pantry right now, but I hope to be filling that up again after the holidays as things quiet down. I should be able to get that stocked up again. This cellar is about one of the happiest places you'll find me. I love it down here. And I think that's a circular thing. The more you put effort into it and care for your food supply, the more you love being with it. Um, and the less it's a source of stress and anxiety. I think especially at the holidays, there can be a real stress regarding having enough food and having enough food at the right time and having the right kinds of foods. And um, really getting involved in a food storage system for yourself gives you the opportunity to, to do all that thinking ahead of time and to spend a lot of time with it and get to a point where you're pretty comfortable knowing what's what and, and being able to put a, a dinner on the table really easily. No! Come on, fish, fight. Good. Do you want some help, Milo? Yes. Pickle spearing? Spicy but good. Pickle. Yum, yum. I think it's tempting to say, well, this would, I would only need this in a very terrible situation, and so I should only have the foods I absolutely need. But the way that we do it, we have the foods we like. And we have just as many treats down here as we have essentials. And because we have both, because we have the essentials and the treats mixed together, we find a lot of joy and enjoyment in the process of storing and caring for our stored food. This room is a room I like to be in. When it was warmer, the kids would try to play in here. I was always telling them not to, but they wanted to use it as a hideout. It's a nice place because it has all of our food in it. And I think if we were A, not organized, if we didn't take the time to keep it pretty clean, which is work, and be really willing to go for variety, neither of those things would be true. Yeah, don't they smell good? Yeah. What does that remind you of, Sadie? Does it smell like chocolate chip cookies? Yeah. What is it? They're vanilla beans. Mommy's making vanilla extract. Does it smell good? And cap the jar. And if it isn't an amber bottle, then it does want to be in a dark place. child and he patted her head. He got her a drink and then sent her to bed. And when Cindy Lou Who went to bed with her cup, he went to, he went to the chimney and stuck the tree up. It's a rainy, slushy day outside, and I've been doing cleanup all day, and I decided it's time for me to give myself a treat. So for me, a, no, not that. 